Hey everyone, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome back to the SST Car Show. We're going to take a look back and forward at the Hyundai Pony. Hyundai is a company that has become a force to be reckoned with internationally and certainly in North America. Uh, But back in the 1970s, the company created the Hyundai Pony, and that's the car that really gave it the company its foothold into the North American market. But it really didn't happen until the early to mid-1980s for Hyundai. Uh, While it was Hyundai's first attempt at a compact car, the Pony had its fair share of hits and misses. In terms of design, the Pony had a rather unassuming appearance. Its boxy shape and simple lines were reminiscent of many cars from that era. The build quality, however, left a lot to be desired. The materials used in the interior were often criticized for feeling cheap and lacking refinement. Despite its flaws, however, the Pony did offer a decent amount of interior space, accommodating passengers and cargo comfortably. Now, believe it or not, these things had these tiny little motors. Uh, They were offered with uh, a base model, which came with a 1.2 liter engine. Uh, Of course, that delivered extremely modest performance. Um, The optional engine was a 1.4 liter engine, which provided a slight improvement in power. But overall, the Pony was never known for its impressive performance or exhilarating driving experience. Its handling was adequate for everyday commuting around town but it certainly fell short when it came to agility and responsiveness. Now, you may remember commercials like this one from 1985. The Pony. Power and agility in a compact, superbly bred package. The Hyundai Pony. Tough tested in Canada and backed by an extensive warranty. The Pony with factory undercoating, Michelin radios, proven fuel economy, and a fully stocked coast-to-coast dealer network for guaranteed service wherever you are. Take a Pony for a ride. You'll be amazed. Get immediate delivery now at any of your lower mainland Hyundai dealers. That, of course, is a commercial that was running in Canada at the time. One area where the Hyundai Pony excelled was its affordability. It entered the market with a significantly lower price tag than its competitors, making it an attractive option for budget-conscious buyers. It was, in fact, I think, if not the lowest-priced vehicle on the market at the time, uh, it was certainly one of the uh, lowest-priced vehicles uh, back in the day. Additionally, Hyundai offered a generous warranty, providing peace of mind to owners, which was referenced in that commercial. But back in those days, uh, Pony's reputation was marred by reliability issues. Nevertheless, mechanical problems and frequent breakdowns were common complaints. The lack of a well-established dealer network, in spite of what they promised in that commercial in North America, further compounded the problems that owners had, and parts and service were often very hard to come by. That reduced uh, the desirability of those things as used vehicles, which sometimes made it hard for owners to sell uh, when the time came to switch or upgrade or, uh, you know, get a newer car. So a lot of them ended up going to the junkyard and not just because the resale value is so low, but because a lot of them rusted out, honestly, faster than some people could pay them off in spite of the low price point. That's why many people referred to them at the time as throwaway cars. Um, Despite its shortcomings, though, the Hyundai Pony played a crucial role in establishing Hyundai as a serious contender in the automotive industry. It laid the foundation, really, for future models that would gradually improve in quality and performance. In conclusion, the 1980s Hyundai Pony was an affordable and practical entry-level car with a no-frills design. While it offered decent interior space and competitive pricing, it suffered from subpar build quality, uh, low quality metals that rusted very quickly, lackluster performance and reliability issues. Now, the company is giving a nod to the original pony with this, the Envision 74. This is a concept vehicle that Hyundai is referring to. 
as a hydrogen hybrid rolling lab. It looks very exciting. The design is very futuristic, just as the original Pony was at the time, back in the early 1970s and then the 80s version, which came to North America. Its design was very futuristic. In fact, uh, the design of the Hyundai was actually inspirational for the design of the DeLorean, believe it or not. Yeah, the Back to the Future car. The Envision 74 from imagination into reality after seven years of an envisioning hydrogen powered high performance Hyundai N N is the performance division of Hyundai realizes its passion with N vision 74 and sets its sight beyond electric cars. Even those wheel discs, the wheel design anyway, I mean, that really gives a nod to the original Hyundai and you can even see some of the, I would say the DeLorean in uh, the rear area of the window and the door, the doors. I like the lines. I like the, uh, the hard angles on this Envision 74. I honestly like sharp lines better than rounded design cues when it comes to performance vehicles. I think that's just because of my age though. You know, I'm a seventies and eighties kid. Gorgeous car, really. And here, uh, again, you're looking at um, pictures now of the Hyundai Pony Coupe from 1974 on uh, the left side of the screen. And they're saying here that the Envision 74 pays homage to the Hyundai Pony Coupe concept from 1974, which was developed and built into prototypes for Hyundai's first production sports car. And then you see down here, there's also the Hyundai N 2025 Vision GT, which, you know, is far removed from what we're looking at here with the Hyundai Pony and the N Vision 74. But uh, the reason they're calling it the N Vision 74, of course, is because it does have a direct tie to the concept vehicle from 1974. Very cool looking car. And here's some uh, running footage for you that I will queue up and and show you. This is the um, this is corporate footage from Hyundai. And again, you know the the design is very exciting. Hydrogen technology, which I think overall is probably the best technology as an alternative fuel in the long run because it is entirely renewable. When you burn hydrogen, you get um, carbon dioxide and water back out the tailpipe, which is then used, or actually hydrogen and oxygen, which is then used to make more hydrogen. Uh, It's a never-ending fuel supply, really. And a beautiful car, a beautiful, beautiful car. Hyundai, looking forward, the N Vision 74 and the quality today of Hyundai vehicles, I would say, is um, right in there with the leading automakers, General Motors, Ford, Honda, Toyota, and the company with its vehicles today offering extreme value, probably the best warranties in the business. That's a hallmark of, uh, of Hyundai and service. And the dealer network now is much better established. It is uh, honestly a company with a true vision, a company that you definitely want to be keeping an eye on moving into the future. I'll be right back. Hi, 
cut the cord and save on your cable bill? Get the View TV Wing Amplified Digital Antenna. Compact design allows you to use it indoors for extra range mounted outdoors. Durable weatherproof design makes it ideal for houses, apartments, and mobile homes. Comes with everything you need. Pulls in full high definition TV channels from up to 70 miles away. Call a real super geek and order the Wing today at 1-866-248-1490 or order online at the Super Geek Super 